to this weekend's vlog. Happy Friday. If you're new here, I'm Siobhan, Pronounce Like The Material. And if you're not new here, welcome back, girl. So it is my birthday weekend, yay! And I'm spending part of my vacation from work in DC. So I'm in DC now, and then I'll be going home. But this weekend, we're just in DC for now. Um, I just got to my hotel, so I wanted to do a hotel tour. <laughs> Anywho, I'm excited for my birthday this weekend. This weekend, I don't know. Like I feel, I'm so happy right now. I don't know why I'm excited for my birthday. Like I'm, I don't know. Anyway, anyway. As you guys can probably already tell, the lighting in this room is so good. So I literally just walked into the door and they have this little coffee station here. I probably won't use it. I'm definitely going to Starbucks because I have my birthday gift from Starbucks. I'm going to get a free drink. And then we they do have a closet. I typically just hang up like little jackets and shirts that I iron. Y'all know the linen tops. They have extra soap pillow and stuff in there. <laughs> typical then this is the bathroom very clean and I like how they had this um barnyard door and not like a shutting door that opens and shut like a typical door that means there's more room for you to walk around and then this is the mirror y'all the lighting in here usually hotel lightings aren't that great but the lighting in here is fantastic oh I love this room okay so it is a king room so the king bed is cute, cute. It's just the lighting in here is awesome. And then here's the mirror. Even the lighting in the mirror is good. Like I can take mirror pics for y'all and the, mirror, the lighting won't be too bad as like, you know, typical hotel lighting. And then this is the desk, cute. Hopefully y'all are not getting, um, like motion sickness with the camera moving around but yeah it has a little sofa there which i love that in king rings they have a little sofa and then the view so i got the first room that was available because i checked in so early so you know this was the only one i was able to get so it's not that great of a view it's the building next door um i don't know what building that is though but yeah i can at least see out to the city a little bit but what else? Oh, OMGZ. Look at this. It's pink. That's cute. Yeah, like, I love this hotel. Oh, I'm not sitting on my bed with my airport clothes. I love this hotel already. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. It's very beautiful. It's definitely, I could see the difference between JW, Marriott, and then Marriott. Girl, they left us chocolates on the bed. It says orange and valerian flavored milk chocolate. Can't wait to try that. They left two. Even the room smells good. So y'all, I'm feeling good. Um, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Even though I literally got up like at four o'clock a.m. because my flight was at six. Uh, well, I left at 6 or 9, so I at least wanted to be there 45 minutes before departure. <sighs> so, I'm not, like, too tired. I did forget two of my makeup brushes at home, like my foundation, my powder brush, and then a, um, a blush brush. So, I'm going to, like, Instacart it. Hopefully, I can get that today. And then I'm going to get ready. Actually, I'm going to eat something, get ready, and then... We'll see what the day has in store for us, y'all. Ah! Y'all, I can go on and on about this hotel, but I really love it. This is the food I got. Just the egg white omelet, potatoes, croissants, and some preserves. This literally came in like five minutes. And it came in this super cute bag. I got some coffee too. I also wanted to show y'all something else about the room. So, um... I just never heard of JW Marriott, but yeah. So inside you, the closet thing, they had, they do have a um, robe, and then they even have another mirror which has even better lighting. Love, love, love. Ten out of ten. Highly recommend. Hey y'all! So I just finished getting dressed. This is my makeup. Oh, I wanted to show y'all the new mascara that I bought on last weekend's vlog. 
This is the mascara. It's um, Tarte Tourlette Tubing Mascara. Here's the box if you're interested in knowing what that looked like. But her lashes look so cute. I wanted to try. Here's the um, what the bottle looks like. I always get a trial size. Just to see, like, I don't know, I just like trying different mascaras since I don't really wear lashes that much anymore. But they look pretty good. I did use the Lancome primer. I love the Lancome primer. And then I put this mascara on top. Like, do y'all see that? It's looking good. It's, it's giving lashes. So, yeah, this is what I'm wearing. My scent today is Gucci Guilty. It's like a my everyday scent. I even wear this to the clinic. It just smells so good. And it's fresh and not too overpowering. Um, and then my lips, I don't have anything on them now. It's my natural color. And then I'm going to use um, Marette Beauties. This is Bel Air. It's in clear. It's just, you know, I really like it because it gives my lips um, moisture and stuff like that. So it's their tinted lip oil. And so I do have eczema on my lips too. And these, this keeps my lips hydrated all day and i love how it enhances my natural color of my lips so this is my outfit hmm, broken down <clears throat> okay so i'm losing i'm wearing broken land <laughs> broken down i'm losing i'm wearing um broken land everything um besides the shoes so this super cute skirt is from broken land i actually ordered this dress from them i love it highly recommend checking them out um, I, this is a dress I sometimes wear as a shirt to to work. And when I bought this, they sent this scarf as like a bonus item. And they have a dress in this print too, but I just got this color. And I was like, it's cute just to wear them together to see what that looks like. Like cute. And then um, my bag, Shein. I'll link it. But it's just like a metallic color. It's the only thing that, that kind of goes right now out of all the purses I have. And then my shoes, I'll put like a little thing on the side. My shoes are um, Urban Outfitters. These were, I, I, they're on, they were online for $39. I bought them on, in store for $31. And they had a sale that was still on my um, $19.99 that a couple of y'all, I know y'all got. But um, I don't know if that sale is going on, but I highly recommend y'all. These are so comfortable. So we're going to the zoo. <laughs> so this is my zoo outfit just fun and flirty and this um shirt isn't hot at all and i can like open it up if i get more hot or i can close it if i get a little chilly oh my jewelry um professor from broken um i'm mixing my brands up professor necklace from carbon coffee i'll link it to below check it out and then i have pearl earrings but it doesn't really matter because you can't see but yeah that's the fit <sighs> Let's go. Okay, still, just people taking photos. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm still at the zoo. Oh, sorry. Did you know you can get drinks at the zoo? It's a good time. Cheers. Hey y'all, good morning. Getting ready to go to the spa. So I didn't do any makeup today. I just have a headband from Broken Land on, my professor necklace, a white linen top from Zara, and then these leggings from Amazon. They are the best leggings, y'all. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. They're linked on my Amazon store. And then I got these jelly shoes from Urban Outfitter. So, yeah, this is the look. <clears throat> oh, my bag. She in. Let's go. <laughs> so relaxed like I went to the spa put some clips in and it was like the best so I usually get like a Swedish massage 
but this time I end up getting it like I guess moderate um, because I wanted some more pressure on like my back and neck because it's been like sore and just like to work out all the kinks from going to Pilates and stuff and it was good like there were some moments it hurt a little bit and but she's like are you okay and I was like yeah yeah so it was like I hurt a teeny teeny bit not like a whole bunch so it was good <laughs> Highly recommend 10 out of 10 the Four Seasons in DC. They gave me some champagne because it was my birthday. And then there's this brand in there called Ron David, I believe. Oh, I didn't take any video of it. I was so wrapped up in it. But you know how when you can go to spas, they have clothes you can um, buy. Like the clothes were super, super cute. The only thing is it wasn't my size. And I guess I could have asked if my size was available, but um, I didn't. I'm going to check his website out. So call Ron David I would check it out and then see if there's something but he has some like cute sets like um like you know resort style clothing and stuff like that but anywho yeah and then I went to after that I went to brunch to Circa it was pretty good it actually wasn't packed at all and I'm surprised because they have a really good menu and even the restaurant looked it like cute light I don't know why I wasn't packed, but maybe I liked it because it wasn't packed like that. But I highly recommend. Um, I got some fried rice and it was good. It had sriracha sauce on it. Good. So I'm getting ready to go out to dinner with some friends. So this is like kicking off my birthday dinner, even though like I'm still celebrating and I'm just having vacation. So I um, took my sleepy towel and this is what my hair looks like. Y'all, y'all need to get a sleepy tie. So I curled the ends a little bit and then I, I curled the ends a little bit. That was back in, I don't know, like four days ago or something. And the sleepy tie is holding them strong. They gave me like a little blowout look. So yeah, the outfit I have on, um, this is the shop from Frankie, uh, the top from Frankie shop. I got a lock a while ago. Um, it's a crop top. I love the way crop tops look on my body. Like, I just like this silhouette, you know? And a little secret. So, because I have a fuller bust, sometimes when I get button up tops, it like, not that the top is too small. It's just like these little areas open up a little bit, depending on like where I look. See how you can see it a teeny bit here? But, um, sometimes it's even more. And I didn't want that to happen. So, I put this tape on so this is the hollywood fashion secrets tape and i cut one of the strips in half so um oh girl i can't even get this out of here i didn't use all of them so the strips are like basically twice this side and i cut it in half and i used it there just so um i don't show anything this is like my traveling kit so i have a safety pin in there just in case my mom always told me to bring a safety pin just in case because it do come in handy i did bring a little extra tape in my bag so if something happened i can put it on there um but i love this top so much it's definitely worth the money i do have a crop top on my amazon store which one is super cute too but i wanted to wear this one today because it doesn't have like the pockets that the amazon one does and then i have on a broken land skirt can y'all see I'll put like a little video of like you know the full on thing my bag Shein bag so when I travel I try to use the same accessories so it takes up less room in my bag so I've been rocking this bag this entire weekend and then my shoes what is I forgot this brand oh, I think it's Gia Couture Gia Couture like they looked white on the website but they're not white in, in person they're like a like very light light, light 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 gray but i love them so much true to size i got a 39 i should have did a review maybe i'll do that next but i love them so much they're so comfortable and then like there's the just i'll do the re review girl if you're interested but basically you can adjust the straps to your foot so if you have narrow or wide foot you can adjust the straps but yeah this is it I love my hair so much, so much. I love this outfit. I love these skirts. I literally wear these skirts all the time. I have th three hues and it just makes me feel so special. 
I was thinking about putting this headband on. So they have these headbands. So this is a Brooklyn headband too. And I thought like this would really make me feel extra special. Girl, it's my birthday. <laughs> so should I wear this? Like wearing this will really definitely set it off though. People probably think like, you know what you, girl, you ain't gonna be thinking about that. And that's just me in my head. But um, I feel like something about the clothing from Broken Line really makes me feel like a pretty princess. Um, I feel like if I was a person, like this would be me. Like this would be me as a skirt. Like I love the lines. I love the structure, but I, it's a little flared out. Like I just love it so, so, so much. All right, I'm gonna do the video for y'all. So I'm not running late. I don't wanna keep my friends. And then I'm wearing Valentino sent ugh, to die for. Um, I don't even know. Cause they write, write it so small on her. Uh, what is it? EDP Valentino. I'm not sure what brand, what this scent is. And I cannot see, but that's what the bottle look like. Screenshot this and take it to Sephora, okay? All right, bye y'all. extending this vlog because um i'm still on vacation so this will probably go up on tuesday maybe or wednesday i don't know it depends on how fast i can um edit but it is monday um yesterday was sunday obviously i didn't do anything except relax because i just wanted to relax but i wanted to go over some things with you guys so um, I just got dressed. I'll show you guys my outfit in a bit. But I wanted to show you the gifts that my friends bought me. So we had went out to dinner to Fogo, Fogo do Chao um, on Saturday evening. But my friends, they bought me these gifts. Like, first of all, they bought me Sephora gift cards, which, like, who can go wrong with Sephora gift cards? But I wanted to show y'all what the gift cards came in. Isn't that so cute? I'm literally gonna put like my real cards in these. I think it's so cute. And then they got me these chocolates from this chocolate company they like. I've never heard of it before. And I do, I really do love chocolate. So it's like a Maryland brand. So it's in Baltimore, Bel Air, Columbia, and Ocean City. So yeah, oopsies. I don't wanna spill, but it's basically um, see chocolates and then um, they also got me so they're um, sisters they're twins actually so they both got me some chocolates so these are fudge and this is mm, walnut I think I might eat that right now this is chocolate fudge this is chocolate fudge, so it was one walnut, and then, oh, I'm not showing y'all. <laughs> chocolate fudge, and then uh, this is cookies and cream. And I think all of these are cookies and cream fudge, yeah. That's probably really good to you. So I think I'm gonna eat the, I kinda wanna try cookies and cream, but I think I'm gonna eat the, um, I wanna say the walnut. Yeah, I'll eat the walnut now. And then when I went to um, Four Seasons, 10 out of 10, I got something. So I got, when I went into the shower part, there was this spray, this eucalyptus spray that smelled, smelled so good. What you do is you spray it to the bottom of your shower and then the steam just let it rise up. So this is the eucalyptus shower mist. It smells so good, guys, and it's so relaxing. So I can't wait to take this home with me so my shower can, my shower time can feel extra special. special. So, 
yeah um i didn't do any heavy shopping today so today obviously i'm going to sephora i need to get uh, the becca bronzer that i dropped and broke from a couple like weekends ago and i even dropped it <laughs> this weekend and it's literally all gone it's all shattered so i need to get that then i also want to try the tarte shape tape concealer because i always use the nars concealer but i feel like now you guys can see like those it's just natural creasing but i want to see if the um shape tape concealer can like not do that um yeah so let me show you my outfit okay so, um, my headband is Brooklyn Land cute, and then I have this dress on. One second. Okay, hopefully this is a better view, but I have this dress on. I'll add it on the link below. Um, scarf is Brooklyn Land. Then my bag is Shein. I love this bag, and then um, I have my sandal on from Urban Outfitters. I'll probably try to do like a long thing. Oh, don't pay attention to that trash, y'all. Room service hasn't come yet or cleaning service. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is my makeup. As you guys can see, like it looks so good here, all around here. It's just like this area. Maybe this is a sign of aging. It was just my birthday, so maybe but like i want to get something to not have that creasing there so anyway let's go guys i'm in zara look how freaking cute this top is cute so this is zara downtown dc they have like so many cute things here all pink I think I may get those pink shoes. I'm not sure where I'm going to wear them. But look at this top. I think this top is great for my, um, for work. See, this is the white t-shirt, but that makes it fancy. So I think I'm going to get that. And then, and I really wanted to show y'all these freaking shoes. I'm not going to get them because I don't know if I can walk in shoes in these anymore, but they're so cute. Let's see how much they are. $80. That's decent. No, maybe I'll try them on. What size is this? That's a 40. So I wear a 39, but I don't see a 39. 37. Sorry, y'all. I just want to try these on. But would I really wear these? and try to go. Oh, girl, where is my foot going to go in here? got my Starbucks, my free Starbucks for my birthday. It's good. Hey y'all, as y'all can see, I'm back home. Ooh, I had such a good time in DC. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all the stuff that I got from Sephora. First of all, why did I just found out that Becca Cosmetics is like done for? I even tried to go on a website and it's done. So I went to pick up my Panama Sun bronzer that I dropped on the ground, broke it, so I needed a new one. And girl, Becca Cosmetics is no more. So I can't get it. I did find it on eBay, but I probably shouldn't buy makeup on eBay. I don't know, but I didn't buy it on eBay because no. Um, so I did go in there and one of the makeup artists had recommended that I try this bronzer from, um, Charlotte Tilbury. So this is 
I never, well, the one product I tried from her was like a mini mascara, but I think in one of my vlogs I had it, but it was like dried out. I don't know if it was old or what, so I didn't really try anything. Um, so this is, I guess, the first product I'm really trying. So this is the Airbrush Bronzer. And uh, I think this has something special in here. That's why the lady told me to use it because she said this is good for people who do have dry skin. Um, yeah, so it has hyaluronic acid in it. And um, people who use that say it's really great for to bring moisture into dry skin. So like it's like hydrating. So we'll see. But anywho, this is the container. It is super cute and it's huge. This will last me forever. And the color is beautiful. So the color I got is uh doo -doo -doo. should be on the box uh three tan <laughs> that's the color three tan um but this is so cute like this color oh my gosh this will be a great bronzer like i put it under here and the hair so instead of contour and i just bronze so doesn't smell like anything but the container is super cute cute so i'll try that out and then i also wanted to get um another concealer like i talked about for under my eyes so i went in there to get the Too faced um no, no tart shape tape but they didn't have it in sephora so i think ulta only sells it or something i don't know but i couldn't find it in there and the lady said maybe go to ulta so i don't know if they just don't sell it in Sephora or just that Sephora I went to and after talking with her she was like well with shape 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 tape it could be really drying for people who already have dry skin so I figure it was just convenient to try this brand instead of having it go to Ulta and I had those gift cards from my friends so I wanted to use those and save some money so I ended up going with Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer and this is what the box looks like and I got this in the color Taffy because it's similar to Biscuit. And Biscuit is the color that I get um, from NARS in the Creamy Concealer. So this is the container here. So I'm going to use this for like to brighten my under eye. And this is the color. It's, yeah, it's really similar to Biscuit. So hopefully this will help with my natural under eye creasing. Like I know there's going to be some natural creasing because that's what, just the way it is. It's just more apparent when you have makeup on. So we'll see how that goes. I'll be using it soon. And then what else did I get? Oh, so it was my birthday. So I got this, the Amika gift set. So it comes with the dry uh, shampoo, which I tried before. It's pretty good. And then it also comes with the shine mask. I'm going to put that on my hair. I'll probably put it on for, oh, I'm going to be in a wedding next weekend. So... Um, I'll put that on my hair to see if it's shiny. And then also a nourishing mask. So that's for my natural hair. Um, yeah, so I'll try that another time when I take um, my extensions out. And then the last thing I got is <laughs> one of these things. So I've been seeing a lot of people with these hand sanitizers, hand sanitizer things in their bag, and they look so freaking cute. So this one is the rose water scented. So hopefully that smells like nothing um but yeah i just thought the bottle was cute that's it like that's why i wanted it and it's a little miss so i did get some stuff from zara but i'm going to do a zara haul so wait out for that but i did get this headband from zara and this is so freaking cute i gotta figure out how i'm going to wear this but i figure like i can wear this and just literally wear all black like this will really stand out. Like it's a black top, black shorts, this, black sandals. Like that would look like a cute, chic look. So yeah, I'll I'll um, put this on for my Zara haul. So look out for that, y'all. But anywho, I'll end the vlog here. Um, I hope this vlog wasn't too long. If you like the longer vlogs, let me know. And I had a great birthday weekend. Um, oh, so that restaurant I videotaped was called, um, from the restaurant I went to was called, um, 
rice bar DC and it had a popular Korean dish dish. I think it's pronounced bibim bap. And um it's really good. So they it's sort of like that, sort of like Chipotle, but with bibim bibim pap. Um, sorry if I mispronounce it. I was trying to have the guy, I think he was the owner of the place, go over how to pronounce it with me. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully, I, I served any justice. But the food was really, really good. You can get pre-curated like um, curated dishes or you can kind of make your own like how Chipotle is. You can make your own. But I got a pre-curated dish at the, basically the, um, I think it was called the original. And it was really, really good. And they had dumplings too really really good so they had beef and vegetable um which is great because um usually when you go to other places they have like pork dumplings and i don't eat um, pork dumplings it's just my preference so uh yeah and then i also went to oh my gosh Fogo de chow i probably already talked about that in this vlog if i didn't it's basically a Brazilian steakhouse. It's the first time I've ever went. When you go, you got to go hungry because I was stuffed after the first thing they brought. First of all, even just going to the salad bar had me stuffed. But I highly recommend going, trying to experience um, or, or uh, having that experience and trying the food. It was great. But anywho, I'm just reveling on now. Okay, peace and love. Bye.